Bum, 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 bum. Right now you're listening to Y D F P. You're gonna listen to Y D F P. That's now. It's Friday. It's five. You know what that means? It's, it's time for your dad's favorite podcast, episode seven. Episode seven. We made it to seven so far. Uh, episode seven, special episode. You know what that means? Episode seven means you have to like and subscribe to this channel and follow all the social media at BCB Gabriel at your dad's fave pod on Instagram and TikTok, and also my co-host at this time at Dylan Hoyos. If he wants to, he's I don't know where he is. I don't know if he wanted to show up this week. Or, it was, it, <laughs> Yeah, motherfucker, that's right! Get on the motherfucking ground! This is the FBI! Cool FBI! That's right, son! That's right! We listen to Post Malone, son! Congratulations, motherfucker! You made it to episode 7 of YDFP, son! That's right! What's going on, guys? Sorry, I'm Holy late for shit. the party. Um, Holy shit! Uh, I'm actually... I'm actually Gabriel. I'm actually Gabriel with some cool sunglasses. No, nah, I could no, I could only wish. I could only wish. Oh, and don't worry about Dylan. He's he's here. He's just uh, he's over there. You know? Oh, that is. Oh my god, that is that is what you he. That's what he was wearing last week. Yeah, that's but right. Now we I'm have, actually Dylan too. We have, we have Dylan the second. Dylan too. That's right. That's Electric right. Boogalies. What's going on, guys? How have we been? It's Bro. fucking the seventh episode. You know yeah. what that is? You know what that means? You gotta like and subscribe and follow it's, us on all of our socials. <laughs> that's what it means. It's the seven. That's what seven means in Spanish. That's, like that's and what subscribe I mean. siete, and follow us. Actually, no, siete, no, for real. I'm half Colombian. Yeah, siete right. means in Colombia, like, subscribe. Gabriel. <laughs> like, subscribe. Uh, YDFP. Gabriel. <laughs> YDFP uh, um, Instagram page and YDFP on on YouTube and YDFP on TikTok. That's seven right there. It's seven. Oh my god, bro! He's not. You're not playing. Not playing. And speaking of the socials, y'all know at this point, y'all know how we do. We start every single week with the question that we asked you on the socials last week. I gotta tell y'all, my followers killed it, and this week. My followers made me want to kill myself. I didn't get any fucking responses again, but it's okay. But it's okay because... Did he come in clutch? He didn't. He didn't come in clutch. Damn, what a week. fucking... Fuck you! <laughs> you're not a dad <laughs> anyways. You. Yeah, you're not yeah, You're not even a dad, Highland. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck it, yeah. Highland. Fuck or that like fucking... like, low, low surface. Oh. That. Yeah, low water. Low water. Yeah. Prick. Look at... Ugh. This is this, this is for you. We did get responses. I'm very happy to say we got responses on the YDFP Instagram. It was only nice. one. It was only one, but that was more than my followers gave me. So I am like, please, 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 please follow the YDFP Instagram so you can interact with the content. We're not just trying to get our you know number nice and high. We're trying to do something with it. You know what I'm saying? This isn't just like I don't know clout chase malarkey. Bologna, we're trying to you know <laughs> get something done here, and it would be really yeah. helpful if y'all could interact with the content that is designed to be interactive. So the question this week, I asked you if you were to pick a person, real or fake, to run a country with the sole purpose of creating fucking chaos, who do you pick? The person on the YDFP said Rick Sanchez. I mean. I don't know. I feel like he's intelligent enough to not make anarchy or a chaotic place. Man, it just um, depends how he feels, though. It does, it does. It does. If Rick Sanchez wants chaos, he will get it. But if it, uh, that he, it does run the risk, though, because like you said, Rick Sanchez is a very calculated man. So if it is chaos, it's chaos that he can, you know, what I'm saying like manage. But I mean, I feel like I've never seen rick and morty so i don't know mm. all i know is that i'm pretty sure there was a episode where he actually did create his own world and it probably. was a chaotic mess it, it probably happened multiple times i he probably. did the he did do the funniest thing in television history where he turned himself into a pickle fuck me that was that, funny that, that, that was funny. <laughs> he do he literally tur- let me not let me not do that let me not do that it literally turned himself into a pickle that's what i'm saying gabriel yeah <laughs> he's pickle red oh my god he, uh, it's pickle it's pickle red. so what did your well, by the way we are gonna pick a winner we are gonna pick the best one dylan which which uh what did your people say i got three you got three okay that's that's yeah plenty. so i didn't get too many but the people who did y'all are killers out there 
I got an NBA Young Boy, which. Oh, uh, that's a good. That is a good, good pick. I mean, look, I don't know. I don't actually know who NBA Young Boy is, but I can only assume. I can vouch. Anarch- I can. I can. Chaotic, I can explain evil. why that's a really, really good pick. Is he chaotic evil or is he chaotic? Bro, there's. I was watching this thing about NBA Young Boy. I don't want to like go too much into it. Basically, it's you people that get involved with him in the rap game have a way of just like dying, <laughs> getting getting murdered as per the nature of the rap game. So it's it's not quite peaceful around those parts, from what I understand. And you listen to his songs; it's not quite about you know diplomacy and democracy. You know, it's that is. I mean, I think that's true. Yeah, he did make all it I know is that realistically, it sounded he, like, pretty chaotic. Did. Yeah, Young Boys and I. I that's tough. What are the other two? The second one is Papa Smurf, and he gave us uh, actual like reason why. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm Papa willing to Smurf, hear he couldn't even keep his own kids slash village in check. So that's a good pick because he's just bad at governing? Pretty much. I mean, dude, if you don't have that a is, That is sheer body, chaos. That you're is sheer fucked. Chaos. Mm. You're fucked. Even though mm. they're all happy and go lucky, except for Grumpy Smurf or whoever the fuck. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The George Lopez Smurf. I don't know. <laughs> what? That's a solid pick. It is a solid pick, but I mean, I might be biased on this last one. Um, oh, okay. Dylan Hoyos, which uh, if you don't know, is the guy <laughs> you're looking at right now. Um, now, I mean, if you've ever seen <laughs> my YouTube channel, and if you've ever seen anything, like, if you know who I am, I almost guarantee, I think NBA Youngboy would be murdered before he got to be able to be a- affiliated with anybody. Like, I... Mm. I'm a pretty fucking. I'm chaotic evil. Let's see. Is what they say. <laughs> That's what they There's, say. Who are they? Th- that is what they say. Um, Who's they? The world. Them. Oh. Um. I am. Um, oh, I'm shit. gonna send you something. It's a reputable source on Instagram that I think perfectly encapsulates everything about me. Put it up on screen, obviously. Yeah. If it's, um, this if it's is, not a this picture a of good, your penis. This is a good encapsulation of who I am. As a human being, um, Holy fuck. I think post unavailable. Ga- oh, is that unavailable? All right. Yeah. C- editor Jimmy, cut this shit out. Yeah, I was gonna say Jim. We have an editor, by the way. His name is Jimmy. So everyone say hi to editor Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. Hi, gonna editor out. Jimmy. <laughs> That's a perfect encom- encompassing thing about me. What the um, fuck? <laughs> Wait, what uh, is this from? That is from <laughs> my boy, our mutual boy, my co-founder of K's Corporation, Daniel. This does um, seem like a Daniel pr- production, I can't lie. He took this, and I think every day is like this. I think currently I'm probably l- neutral good. Yeah. Um, but there are days where chaotic good, uh, um, chaotic neutral, chaotic evil, lawful evil, and neutral evil. All Bro, the state of you in chaotic neutral... Um, Bro, you just shat oh, no. both of your pants. Uh, I know. And <laughs> That's an e- unbelievable face. If, if we wanted chaotic evil, if we wanted a chaotic place, I think okay. chaotic evil is the definition of chaotic. E- like, okay, I don't, I, I don't know how to describe it other than they're fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, genuinely. Okay, so for I am actually, and this will make sense. I am okay with with making Dylan Hoyos the winner of this poll. I am very, very okay with that because it's gonna bleed into something that this this is kind of perfect actually. If you win this, I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie, Papa Smurf is a good one, but I'm pretty sure he's too nice and like nothing really does go wrong in the Smurf village. So, um, except for like those two guys, yeah, except for Gargamel and, and the the cat. Yeah, but other fuck, than that, like those guys, that's it. Um, so okay, then, my I do. Rick Sanchez, if he feels like not chaos, like this, this is this is a society that thrives on chaos. Yes. All right. So I am I am okay with making you the winner of this. I'm okay with that as well because I think I'd probably perfect. be the more chaotic person. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me explain to you why I asked this question. Okay. I had an idea. I, I, I feel as though I wanted to make something special with this podcast. I wanted to create a concept that was kind of unique to it. Mm-hmm. What I decided is I wanted to I wanted to build this like YDFP based society. And we ha- it, 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 it like progresses. It kind of has a storyline. Every couple uh-huh. weeks you have scenarios and things that is just like 
the, obviously, you know, we're very based on interaction. So we'll create mm-hmm. scenarios and we'll have the audience interact with it as well. It'll make sense in due time. You'll know what I mean when it starts to happen. I think it's great. The idea of the winner, uh, the idea was for the winner of the poll today to be the executive like ruler of this society and it's a ydfp oh. based society yeah <laughs> so so, so. <laughs> i i actually had one of my own and i'm kind of glad it's me and not like the other person so all you dads out there probably don't watch him but if you do you should you should actually watch him uh, his name is germa he's a twitch streamer um and if you know anything about germa if he was the ruler of society it'd be fucked it would be yeah. just as fucked if i was but I will happily be the ruler of this YDFP society. That's perfect. All dads unite! Yes. So we have two orders of business. One order we're going to take care of now, and the second order we're going to leave back up to the people. The first order of business, I am going to ask you, and I've written down some myself, we are each going to nominate five people for the YDFP land Supreme Court. And this okay. is, once again, all completely based on the idea of just chaos i some some chaos ridiculous incarnate. just ridiculous shit people that match you know what you're going for so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go one for one we're both gonna nominate one person at a time and we are going to take to instagram follow the fucking instagram please we're gonna take to instagram and y'all are gonna vote on which of our nominations should win so there will be five votes it'll be first guy versus first guy second second third third i don't have to explain the rest you probably understand so would you like to and do uh, your research we don't want some fuck ass like random like <laughs> oh we have kanye east kanye east well we're gonna be the and ones we're gonna be the ones nominating they're just gonna vote on which of our nominations wins no, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying do your research because uh, oh me. I don't want you to make it. No, not you. Oh not them. You. I want them because if we say who we decide <laughs> and they don't know who they are, I would like them to decide mm. because you know, like by like if let's say I choose my first candidate, which is Germa nine eight five. Oh, why is Germa good? Well, if you've ever seen Germa do anything, um, he's fucking crazy. I think he's as mentally insane as I am sometimes, and uh, um, I take a lot of my, I take a lot of notes from him. I yeah. jot down notes from how he is. Germa is I as I is Germa. You know what I mean? So I think Germa's probably one of the funniest people on the planet. Like mm. not even not like mm. I mean Dave Chappelle is better in terms yeah. of intelligent comedy, but in in random equals funny comedy. Germa wins it all. So I would pick him as my all as right. a part of it. But who would you pick as your first? So my first choice was actually uh Riley from the Boondocks. I don't know if you've Ooh. ever seen the Boondocks. Ooh. No, but I know exactly who you're talking about because that would be a really good choice. <laughs> Riley from the Boondocks. If you've never seen the Boondocks, Riley is He's fucking Riley from the Boondocks. He is He's he is like he is chaotic... just He is just kind of Riley from the Boondocks. If you want chaos, you you bring in Riley from the Boondocks. Did you I see feel the, like we should... I mean, you, you didn't see the Boondocks, you just told me, but if you ever seen the episode with like the R Kelly case, yeah, that man just causes. <laughs> that man just does shit. <laughs> I like we, Huey, but Riley would be better for this. So my first what, choice. Stewie, as in like. No, no, no Huey. Huey. Oh, oh. Huey. Oh. Huey. Oh. Okay. 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 From the Boondocks, but Riley. Riley is my first choice. So it's Germa versus Riley from the Boondocks. The the, the matchup everyone's been anticipating for years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, it, it is the matchup of the century. The next person, Luffy. From One Piece. And if you don't know mm. One Piece... No! Psych! I take that back. Usopp from One Piece. No! I take that back even further. Oh, shit. Frankie from One Piece. So if you don't know who one, what One Piece is, it's an anime, a very long anime, one of my favorite animes of all time. And Frankie is part of the main crew, and he is a cyborg robot. And his whole shtick is he's like an American, like, all the, like major characters on the crew are based off of a place in the world frankie happens to represent america and he runs instead of off of like oil or stuff like that he runs off of cola like coca-cola nice and that's american shit poses like this is how he poses he goes like that and he sounds like this "Ah, i'm frankie um 
<laughs> and he's he's crazy, bro. His contraptions. He created the fucking the General Frankie, which if you don't know what that is, you're fucking checking that out. And like he's just a busted ass character. He does not give a mm. fuck. He's chaotic as shit. He will just build whatever he fucking wants, and this just opens the world to him. And I think that mm. he would be a really good like candidate. For being be as good. fucked up as you can get. He'll just create all these fucked up contraptions. So I see your fuck up character, and I, I raise you one. My second nomination is Muscle Man from Regular Show. Yeah! <laughs> my mom! <laughs> this, is un- this is unfortunately not my mom's favorite podcast. It's your dad's favorite podcast. That's but right, I'm sorry. I'll tell you what. That is a point off, but I... <laughs> that is a point off, close. god damn it. Have I been that, deducted that is, 50%? But I, I will, no, I will accept it. Talk. Now listen, Muscle Man. If you've ever that he's cha- it's chaos. It's chaos. Why did I say it like that? Am I okay? It's fucking. It, I I got caught in two minds. I was gonna say chaotic and chaos, but I I started whatever. Yeah, he likes cola too. He he always got the he got the the, the he's double toting. Got the uh, 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 you know what I'm saying consuming cola like a mother. This is the this is the cola battle right here, if you will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big big fight feel once again. But Muscle Man, he, he'll probably have High Five Ghost around with him. You know, he's going to do donuts in the uh, the White House lawn or whatever our equivalent of the White House is. And he's going to – he will do his work. He does do his work though, which is good. But it sounds like your guy also does his work. So this is a this is a pretty – this does. is a pretty even battle. So we'll see. We'll see this what is the people a work have a, to this say. This is a work of cola. Work of <laughs> work cola type thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. All right, who is your third? You're gonna like this one, okay? And I think, and I think, and I, and I know you're gonna like this one. I want the man, the myth, the legend, Vince McMahon. <laughs> I want Vince McMahon on the crew. Want to know why this man owns the biggest wrestling company in the world? I he has a monopoly on wrestling and have you seen the people out there the fucking undertaker they have the undertaker bro he has an uh, he has a fucking feud with the biggest man stone cold steve austin have you ever seen the clip of him saying austin yeah I'm, I'm coming for you austin or whatever the fuck he says yeah i'm a diehard wrestling fan i've seen that clip you know, hundreds of times you know. yeah <laughs> like he's got a whole bunch of wacky characters and he's fucking Built for being like 67 or whatever the fuck he is. He's like 78, 309. He's too old to be as swole as he is. He's a dad's dad. <laughs> He's a granddad. He is a step above this podcast. That makes him <laughs> a fucking legend. There's no <laughs> way. And have you seen the shit that goes down? People will die <laughs> off in wrestling and come back later because it's just a fucking... That's just how it works. So what I we're think saying Vince McMahon is, is a great. Are you implying that the inclusion of Vince McMahon will help the members of this nation cheat death? I'm not going to say anything <laughs> other than there are going to be wrestlers walking everywhere that their that their arms are bigger than you and I combined. Yeah. Okay. So not arm Vince, size, but like if we yeah, split yeah, yeah. each other, if we hugged each other, yeah, their biceps are bigger than yes. the, the the circumference. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Look. Vince McMahon, he's he's good. He's got he's got a couple problems, but he's all right. My third nomination, I don't actually know how likely this is to beat yours, but mine is uh, Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit. All you have to do is look I... at Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> what does he fucking look like? Just, just yeah, he yeah. Looks like anarchy. He does, and you gotta know that Limp Biscuit's number one song is called "Break Stuff," which. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what screams chaos like a guy that looks like that singing a song called Break Stuff. <laughs> Hardcore kind of hip hop, major punk rock like that man. That the Limp Bizkit's music is the epitome of chaos. That is why my Vince McMahon probably does win this though, which fair enough. Oh yeah. But but my nomination is Fred Durst. Uh, humbly, I can't I can't change it. Uh, who is your fourth? My fourth is a man simply known as Vecna from Stranger Things oh. Season 4. Now, if you've oh, ever seen Stranger no. Things, which I'm pretty sure everybody oh, no. has seen it, um, he literally, at the end of Season 4, <laughs> this is a big spoiler, fucking destroys the entirety of Hawkins just by and fucking Mercs, one of the major villains of season four. Literally like that. We did not even get like a goodbye. We didn't even get this. He starts beating up fucking Lucas and out of nowhere just gets cut in half by this fucking massive 
volcano. He fucking dies. It's not even close. And this guy is, he's fucking a psychic freak of nature. He is scary. I'm pretty sure he could beat him in a fucking fight, but... <laughs> That I mean, Vecna's... You Dylan f- won? You got, you got Dylan won over Vecna? Uh, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. All I'm going to say is it's low diff yeah. and right there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. And then... Do you, so, as the... That- hold on. As the ruler, do you think you would be able to... Because it's, it's Vecna, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to, like, trust him, right? He's going to be on your idea. Theoretically, he's going to be on your Supreme Court. But are you going to be able to counteract his, his goofery, his clownery, his fuckery? There is a there is a, 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 a huge thing in my friend group where I have an unlimited amount of personalities. There is no every oh. version of Dylan that you've ever seen is just one in a billion trillion what an infinite amount of Dylans out there. So this Dylan is nothing compared we just we fucking made him into a new Dylan. Like that Dylan will reappear. He just always comes back. So Vecna can't kill me. I okay. control Vecna. Well, the, right, that, right, is, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's a psychic mind, but is he going to get through the billion different Dylans in here? Maybe one. He doesn't have time. Maybe he half. doesn't have the time. He, nah, he's not going to get through them all. So, yeah. hey, I mean, Vecna, mm. Vecna thinks he can, but yeah. I'm going to just no, choke him you'll, out. Yeah, you'll keep him I'll in just, check, naturally. I'll grab him by his neck flaps like this and just <laughs> wrangle him like this. I'm going to go, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Vecna, And if he pick. tries, I'll just do this. Then he'll be like, holy shit, that is the coolest guy I've ever seen. And then he, right. will, he will do nothing about it after that because then he'll be like, dude, yeah. I can't deprive the I, I can deprive the world of the world, but I can't deprive the world of the coolest guy. You know, that's, that's, right. that's fucked up even for Vecna. All right, yeah. that's, a, that's a solid pick. That's a solid pick. So my fourth pick is the old dirty bastard from the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> <laughs> Shimmy, shimmy, y'all. <laughs> I can imagine that fight to the death, and Vecna just goes like this, and he's just fucking rapping, and he's dead. Meanwhile, old dirty bastard's dead. He just fucking is dead, and his big, his missing tooth is just like he's rapping, and that missing tooth, and he's rapping, and that missing tooth actually reappears in like a like a, in like a static of psychic mind, and just like he's like flying around like um like Yondu's fucking. Like, <laughs> thing and he's like ayo 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 and it's like it's fucking flying and vecna's like Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that's honestly shimmy shimmy ya might be my vecna repellent old dirty bastards for the supreme court just listen to his music it's more i love music i like it a lot uh music music he's, he's gonna that, that's chaos right there old dirty bastard if chaos. you also just look at old dirty bastard again uh it you don't always judge a book by its cover, but the cover of Old Dirty Bastard kind of lets you know. I can't lie. All right. The final one. What's your final now, one? Now, I'm stuck between two. Okay. And I, I'm stuck between two chaotic. Once you said Old Dirty Bastard, because I'm coming up with these off the top of my head, but these are people that I would actually choose. You know what? Um, Since I'm you're stuck- the executive ruler, we can make the the fifth one a three-way battle. You can have two. You have that. You have that authority. Now, I this is where it comes into play. I, it's technically a 3v1, but I, I, we'll get to that. It's uh, Tyler, the Creator. I mean, if you don't know Tyler, the Creator, his first like four albums are fucking chaotic in and of themselves. Have you yes. heard Yonkers? Shit's fucked. Yeah. And then he's gotten better as time's gone on, but still, he's a pretty cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs kind of guy. But now this is where it comes into play. I will get rid of Tyler, the Creator if I can add these two. And that's the band Ween. It makes up of two people, <laughs> nice. Gene and Dean Ween. And if you've ever heard their music, I think they're more chaotic than than Tyler. But I yeah. do like Tyler. I do like me some Tyler. So you can have them all if, if I, you want. If, if I can have them all, it would be Tyler the Creator rapping his shit, going like ah, 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 ah. and then you've got Gene <laughs> and Dean Ween singing, fucking waving my dick in the wind in the background. Okay, that's fair. My final pick, the 1962 Peel P50. A car? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All Fuck right. it. Okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> look, what was okay, that, a 1960? The 1962 Peel P50, and you'll understand why. P-O-P-50? Peel, 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 as in banana, P50. Oh, Peel P50. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let me ask. Let me ask about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If 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 
<laughs> does he talk like Lightning McQueen or like Chick Hicks? Does uh, he talk like them? Not with not with the same clarity. Uh, based on the tone of his engine revs, you kind of get a good idea of the message he's trying to convey. Now let me ask another question. Um, yeah. Is he like the autistic cousin to like Toe Mater? No, he's just a radical conservative. Ah, so that makes so then he's Toe Mater's brother. Yeah, so then if that's the <laughs> Do case. Toe Mater's a conservative. He sounds like Larry the Cable Guy. I mean, that's as conservative <laughs> as you get. If you sound like this and you're a pickup truck that's brown and, and drives around, now I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying. I mean, that I'm is, pretty that sure is he, if he could, he would have voted for our main man, DT. And he I'm not going to get too political in here. He would have. Okay? I mean, it wouldn't be a far stretch to say that the far political right like Donald Trump. I'm not, I don't think. I don't think we're making any incredible no. claims here. No. So that's that. So yeah, no. The PLP 50. It com- it communicates well enough. It communi- oh, yeah. you'll you'll know you'll know what it means you'll be like oh right and mm-hmm. it, no it doesn't it doesn't win the plp 50 doesn't give a fuck about your rights all right your yeah. well-being your well-being doesn't matter doesn't matter to the plp 50 all right all right I have, I have honorable mention steve-o because it's Steve-O. Steve-O. Yeah. or the entirety of jackass i was gonna say jackass as a collective would have taken up one seat and I'm not going to lie, I thought you were going to say the 1962 Celtics. <laughs> no. No, they were... I thought they, you were going to say a whole fucking basketball team, so nah, I'm, I'm going to let good, you go. They had a good system going there. No, the PLP 50, yeah, he doesn't... PLP 50 doesn't care. Doesn't give a shit about you. Originally, I was just going to ask the people that if you want to just name the country, you can. But I feel as though we should ask the people and see... That'll be the question for next week. Name the country. So, mm-hmm. and then we'll see what's the best the best one for that and that'll be the name of the country and i'll be writing i have ideas for what i you're you're gonna you're gonna be along for the ride but you also have executive power so you're actually yeah. not you're actually so the not story is not the dictated ride. by me but i get a good say in what it is it's not it's dictated i think it's dictated by all of us i just i i have a hand i have a hand in creating the scenarios and that that's just based on how i'm gonna create them You'll see. You will understand. I have. I my my brain did the thing with this. Okay. I had this idea when I couldn't sleep last night, and I I've, I've thought about it for no less than nine hours at this point. So I have all the ideas in the world for this. I can. I all the ideas in nine hours. So please, 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 please follow the Instagram. Vote on the Instagram so that we can see the results on the Instagram and put the results on the Instagram on the podcast on the Instagram. Bubble dee bubble sabble do beeple so bad double super do bubble. I felt like you were about to rap right there. I I may have been. (laughs) I respect rappers. Okay, so that's that is my segment for the week, Dylan. You actually mentioned that you had you had some you had some ideas of what to talk about. I do. I do. Um. This was a pretty big week. If you don't know why I'm wearing a Post Malone sweatshirt, this is not what I got. But I went to go see Post Malone on Tuesday, which is probably by far one of my favorite concerts I've ever been to, ever. It probably didn't, probably helps that I went with my girlfriend and not like, like a really good friend and not with like adults. It was like me and her and I was surrounded by like a decent following of young kid, like young people like I am. Um, except for where we sat. Now, from where we sat, right, if, you, if you're not following my Instagram and you didn't like the post, go like it, you fake-ass fuck. <laughs> this um, is for you if you didn't like the post. Yeah, if you didn't like my post, fuck you! And also, fuck you! Fuck you if, you don't, if you're not a dad! Yeah, um, fuck you for watching so, if you're not your dad. So there was three stages. We went to the Capital One Arena in D.C., if you don't know. Pretty good venue. And so it kind of was like situated like this. So there was the main stage right here. And then there was a side stage and then this side stage. Now, we were on this side stage. So we were, like, chilling literally, like, right here, right? We were three rows away from that stage. Holy uh, and shit. And GA was literally, like, right here. We were, like, right here. And we were fucking close. I mean, if we wanted to, we could throw something at Post Malone and he could have caught it. It was that close. It wasn't Bro. like a, uh, and it, Damn. like, 
like goes like this. It is was that like, what that is that what that grizzly money's getting to you? Damn boy. Pretty much dude, Damn, that grizzly boy. money, dude. I went <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> chopping fucking lettuce and then meanwhile the next over or like two hours later I'm hey. like jamming out to fucking congratulations. Look at but, that. Um, no, he's up right now. That's I, uh, crazy. Good for I, you, uh, it, it was a really good fucking concert. But there was a couple problems. There was, a, But it wasn't bad. The first thing first was the DJ that played, played some wacky fucking music. I mean, he went from playing, like, songs from, like, the 50s to the 80s to the 2000s, and it's a rap concert. This isn't, like, little children like, listening to Party in the USA. It was just kind of like, it wasn't, like, the right tone, but maybe I was too sober to enjoy that. So while everybody else is drunk and singing along, like, to each their own, I thought it was kind of cringy. What kind of songs? Party in the USA was the first song that came on. Uh, um, it see. was, like, shit kind of like that. It was, like, and then, okay. like, uh, 21 Guns would come on later. Like, all this kind of, it's just a flip-flop of different genres that didn't have any correlation with each other. Yeah. And, it, and it makes sense. And it, it wasn't like the DJ was, like, making a sick beat to it or hyping up the crowd. He was literally just playing songs. Like, yeah. that was it. Well, that's so, what happens at concerts. Like, yeah. before I mean, the acts go on. And also, you weren't at a rap concert. You went to see Post Malone. He's not a No! Rapper. And this is where I said last time. So, after the after our podcast, I said I was fucking... I was right. I was right. Post Malone is considered a hip-hop rapper. He is considered... If you look it up on Google... If you look it up on Man, Google... Man, fuck! Google, Google don't know shit! Nah, get the fuck matter. out of here. It doesn't matter. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nope. if you ask people, he's more hip-hop than he is rock. He has rock elements, but he is not where? hip-hop. He is where? Hip-hop. Okay, there are fucking hi-hats in his song. That man does not make rap music. Get the fuck he out makes, of here. He has hip-hop music. He has some rap songs. You mean Dude, to tell me that man... Rockstar is not... Rockstar or On the Road or fucking like... Dude, or, or okay. Congratulations. No, 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 He's no. not in... He let me tell you, no, 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 this is what, this is, let me, let me fucking establish right now exactly what the difference is between rap and not rap. Rap, the inflection, the musicality comes from the inflection of the syllables. Post Malone holds notes. He sings. He does not rap. He doesn't rap. It is cool to call him a rapper. I understand that he has hip hop influences. Post Malone sings songs. He holds so notes. You mean, he so does you're not tell- rap. He doesn't so rap. He in his verses, himself, he sings. Doesn't rap. He, he doesn't rap. himself is not a rapper. More so, he is a singer. So yeah, is he, that what he, you're his 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 genre. It's pop. There's a lot of there, uh, especially now. I there's a lot him of pop. He, oh my! In what fucking world is Post Malone not pop? I would consider him a hip hop artist. Pop is different. When I think of pop, I think of like Kesha. I okay, there are of, plenty of subgenres of pop. Of, it's more his his is very punk pop. It's not it's not like Harry Styles. It's not like Adele. It, I don't. Makes, th- I think he's way more hip hop influenced, and he's got a lot more hip hop songs than he does have pop. He does have some pop songs. Like don't get me wrong. Like Circles is a pop song. Sunflower is a pop song. But it's got hip hop elements into it where I consider him more of a hip hop artist than he is a pop artist. I think if you're gonna put him in the middle, right, this is this is neutral. You've got pop on one end and hip hop on the other, right? I think he's more like here on the hip hop scale. He's kind of in the middle. He has pop influences, he does have his pop songs, but a lot of his music is hip hop, especially his earlier stuff. As he's gotten into it, I think he does have a lot more pop songs. But like if you go on Stony, he definitely has hip hop. If you go on to Beer Bongs and Bentleys, that is all hip hop. There is probably one or two songs that are not hip hop. And then Hollywood's Bleeding and his newest one, 12 Carat Toothache, it are not as much hip hop. So I'll give you it. There are some songs that are not hip hop, but he is way more hip hop than pop. He is significantly more pop rock than he is hip hop. He just is. He just is. We won't see eye to eye on this, so that's why we should have made him the president instead of us. <laughs> he would fit in our nah. game between us. Nah, um, but no, it was a fun concert. Um, and I will uh, say this: his music is good. I enjoy his music. I'm not saying he's great. shitty. His music's great, no, and I'm okay, I'm, okay. I'm jealous we're that both, you were we're both able. Cool on yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm jealous that you were able to get a, a seat at his concert so close. That's really sick. Genuinely. It was really it was really clutch. My girlfriend bought it right when they came out. And she bought, she almost bought the end seats, which she should have, because 
So surrounding us, there was a group of girls back here. There was oh. us right here. To my side Women. was this big black dude and his nice. white friend. And then in front of us was empty seats. And to the side of us were some other empty seats, right? We were like, oh shit, this is fucking awesome. And then out of nowhere to our left, uh, right next to my girlfriend, happened to be this couple. And this couple happened to be consisted of a girl who was about my height and her height. Where me and my girlfriend are around the same, like five, seven, unfortunately. Um, and she Massive. was around our height. And then her boyfriend, when I tell you, was at least six, seven, was as tall as you possibly can be. Luckily, he was next to us and not in front of us. Thank nah. fucking God. But I swear to God, he left us no room to do anything. We had this big black dude and this tall ass white dude. And between them was the small little two of us. So we didn't have a lot of room to dance around or do whatever the fuck we wanted. But it was still like, it was manageable. Until the people in front of us came. And uh -oh. the people in front of us had to at least be in their 40s. I don't know who listens to Post Malone past the age of 30. Unless you started listening to him when you started rapping. But... There was a dude and his wife who obviously weren't dad and mother because they looked like they were like, they looked like they're biker gang, like they're part of a biker gang. And then especially the wife, the wife looked like she was a part of a biker gang. Do you know and why you had, people in their 40s listen to Post Malone? It's because of the rock influence. Shut up. We then had <laughs> an older lady who at least had to be in her late 50s and then... I'm pretty sure the dad, and the dad was cool because he was making fun of this entire time. And it was actually funny, but the people in front of us, which happened to be the biker gang, were so fucking annoying the entire time. Especially the woman. Fuck women. <laughs> You're not a dad. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, I was going to say, I totally buy that the dad was cool because he's a dad. And we support, yeah, he was we support general sick. dad activities. But I don't and think, the if, the guy was, if the guy in front of you wasn't cool, he doesn't have a kid. Nah. He's not going to reproduce. He nah, shouldn't he, if he sucks. Nah, he fucking blew. Um, mm. Both liber, 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 and conservatively. Liber, yeah, conservative. <laughs> both, um, both liberally and conservatively is what I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, um, you want to start that out for us, buddy? Yeah, Jimmy, come on. Um, <laughs> Fuck's but sake, I, uh, but um, behind us, the group gr group of girls. Now, the ones who were directly behind us were fine. So the opening act was Roddy Rich. And Roddy Rich, I didn't realize had a lot of songs. He was really good in the concert. He was fucking hype as shit. And then when Post came out, I shit you not, Gabriel. The loudest girls that I've ever heard in my entire life oh. were, I mean, these were ear piercing throughout the entire four hours. We were at that place. We got there at seven-ish, around seven, 7.30. We sat down until 12. Until, no, 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 until like 11.30. They were nonstop screaming. And it wasn't like, ah, it was like as loud. It sounded like bloody murder. It was so fucking loud. It hurt my ears. My ears were ringing the entire time. Other than that, though, that concert was a fucking amazing. Go look on my Instagram pages. Some of those shots are fucking beautiful. All of like, he had fireworks. He had fucking fire coming out. Like when he had the song that had Audi Oz Ozzy Osbourne in it, um, "Take What You Want," mm -hmm. that song went killer. Cause when the guitar solo came in, <laughs> oh my god, dude, it was just firework after firework after firework. It fucking hurt to feel. It was like right there, dude. so it hurt because it like yeah. all the shockwave like hit us, and we're like, oh, oh, oh yeah, posty, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I believe um, no. So this is why those biker gang guys were there because they heard the song with Ozzy Osbourne. Probably. And That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Fuck, fuck them. Them. Fuck. Ozzy. These, if you're watching, this is for you. All right. Yeah, These are for you. Guys. Fuck you. Um, Especially overall, the one that's not a dad. But the dad, you get a thumbs up. Dad. Um, hey, two but, thumbs up. Two, two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, we two like that. Up. We like that guy a lot. But overall, other than the fact I hate going to DC, I fucking hate it. It freaks me out. I just like despise going into DC. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it was pretty cool. I actually really enjoyed it and I would totally go see another concert. And it's so good, in fact, that I actually want to go see Tyler next year because Tyler actually has a schedule. Every two years, he releases an album. So he released one last year. It happens to be a year has gone by now. So he releases one next year, which I'm excited for because that means he goes on tour. And I mean, Tyler's awesome. That's, That's the besides deal. the point.
Um, Post I saw that is... Post Malone was wearing a uh, Kyle Kuzma jersey. That's cool. Go oh yeah. He, yeah, was, he was wearing a, a Washington D.C. jersey, and it was like it was pretty yeah. fucking weird to see him. But it was like it was it was dope in general. He was, was he was really trying good. to get that trying to get that uh that local cheap pop. I get that. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I am a Wizards fan, so go. Go with yeah. Sucks to be. It's funny. I I was a Celtics fan, and then in the middle of the last year, like I I kind of decided like now nah, I want to support my home team, my hometown team, and so in the middle of the season I switched from Celtics to Wizards, and then the Celtics made it to the NBA Finals. Cause fuck me, it happens. Fuck me, yeah. It it happens. Happens. But but that's beside the point. Post Malone, good music, good performer. Uh, t- uh could have made some better decisions regarding the appearance of his face, but we move. I agree. Um, and he's always tired. The best of us. He's always tired, yeah. and you would know but that. But that's that's what drinking does to you. I mean, if you're not <laughs> co- opening up a cold brew, or or not a cold brew as in like coffee. I mean, like cold brewski as in like yeah beer. Bud Weiser, um, Bud, Bud Light, Weiser. specifically Bud Light. If you like Coors Bud, Light, Light, Coors Heavy, Coors Medium. I, that's how I like my women. Coors Medium. Um, <laughs> I uh, like uh, my coffee how I like my women. Coors Medium. <laughs> I like my coffee like I like my women, spiked with alcohol. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ! Oh, and in bed, bro. Um, that's that's I, fucked uh, up. <laughs> that's un. That is an unbelievable series of words. Um, Holy I shit. um. But in other news, besides that, this week had two two major things happen. The yeah. starters. The first one that I saw. Was if you ever watch this guy, if you don't know who this is, you should watch him. Sa- Sam O'Nella Academy is back. Now, if you don't know who Sam O'Nella Academy is, he's a YouTuber. He's fucking hilarious. He's from Delaware, so he's pretty close to us, Northern Virginians and Marylanders. Um, he's right there. He's a Delawarean, and uh, he's funny as fuck. He does a lot of like science videos, but he has some stick figure, figure drawings, and they are fucking hilarious. He doesn't do just like animal science he does like history he does all this kind of shit he talked about a story about how he was like like just walking around his neighborhood as 11 year old and this like kid was like throwing a football around he's like did you want to play he's like nah and then uh later on they were playing in the woods like hitting shit with sticks or something like that whatever 11 year olds do and uh he said that he saw the kid again walking past turns the corner and he hears a guy screaming and they go turn the corner and they see there's a huge fucking fire on the ground. And it turns out the kid was autistic. And he didn't want to, like, scream. And he was screaming, like, yo, like, help me. But, I mean, this guy's fucking hilarious. And he was gone for two years. He's been gone since before the pandemic started. Oh, he no. just dipped. He left. He just disappeared. Nobody knew where he went. And everybody's like, where the fuck did he go? This guy was amazing. He has 3.2 million subscribers. So and that goes cut. to show you that. And then he dipped. Oh, my and God. And now he's back. And when I say back, I mean, like, I hope he's making more videos. This guy is fucking hilarious. If you do not watch him, please watch him. If you know who he is, you're on the right side of YouTube. Um, Mm. And then secondly, this is like, okay, okay. The first news was like the bird getting revived. Now we have Salmonella coming back from the fucking dead. Um, We now have second news. And that is that the Super Mario Bros. movie has officially got its trailer. We heard oh, Jack Black as Bowser, and we heard um, what's his name Wait. as Mario. Have you seen it? No, you've not what seen the it. Fuck no! Hold on, let me watch it. Uh, the the bit with the penguin was really funny. The yes, that is just a taste of our power. Do you yield? I popped hard as shit for that. That was funny. Uh, I, I, Jack Black as Bowser is interesting to me. He's a little bit too goofy, funny, silly man. And then Mario doesn't sound nearly Italian enough. His bippity does not quite boppity sufficiently for my taste. I respect that. I respect that. But I'm um, going to watch this fucking movie. Of oh, I will as well. I think that Jack Black actually did a really good job. He does sound when he doesn't sound like Jack Black in the first little bit, and then he does sound like yeah. Jack Black later on in the trailer. But overall, he does a pretty good job. Um, then, yes, I do agree that rest in peace, the man, the myth, the legend. I think that Mario's voice is not that good. I think that Mario is not Italian enough either. I don't think Chris Pratt, rest in peace, did a good job <laughs> on his, on his voice. It wasn't Chris um, Pratt. 
It was it Chris Pratt that that yeah, did the voice? Yeah, it was Chris voice? Pratt. No shot. This I was his like, last film. I was this like, who last died? Film. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, because Chris Pratt fucking died. Yeah, dude, he fucking died. Yeah. And I feel bad. I really, yeah, I genuinely those of you feel who didn't, awful. Those of you who don't follow me on Instagram wouldn't have seen my tribute to Chris Pratt. Rest in peace. No, seriously though, genuinely, rest in peace, Chris Pratt, man. That's fucked up. He's a really good actor. I mean, oh, he, he did such a good job that he landed Mario, and Mario is a pretty hard voice. But not gonna lie, they should have just kept Charles Martinet. They should have just who's the original Mario voice actor. He voices nah. Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, all these fucking characters. He voices all these characters. <laughs> they should have so, kept like, it as a uh, Captain Lou Albano. Do you remember the Super Mario Brothers Super Show? No, he's dead. He's dead. I know. I know. They should have. But since we're doing the whole posthumous Dude, thing, I'm like, why not? Why know? does every person who played Mario die? Right? <laughs> Lou, we had the original. We had the original <laughs> TV show Mario. We had the Super Mario Bros. movie from the '80s, which had the guy who played in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I can never remember his name. Bob Hoskins. If you don't know, he was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. He was. Uh, he played Mario, and he died. 2014. Obviously, Captain Lou Albano, WWE legend, yes, WWE Hall um, of Famer. And now fucking and he, Chris Pratt, bro. Holy shit, they're all dead. Dude, they're all I fucking feel dead. Bad. I'm so fucking I would never want to play Mario even though Mario is one of my favorite characters of all time. At this point, yeah, you're you're literally you're genuinely the pattern shows you're asking to die. You know who isn't dead though? The guy who played Luigi. The guy who played Luigi is John Leguizamo in the 1993 film. And if you don't know who he is, he's also Sid from Ice Age. Um oh nice um how did you know this did you do your research Uh, yeah dude i'm always fucking on top of my shit danny wells the original luigi he unfortunately died in 19 or 2013 but he was born in 1941 so to be fair happens uh he's a little bit older i miss him a lot um but also charlie day now if you don't know who charlie day is he's a very funny actor a very funny actor so i'm excited for him rest in peace Chris Pratt, yeah. but the animation, the animation style that they did, it, it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's a little bit not Mario e enough. So I'm a big Nintendo fan. I've been a big Nintendo fan ever since I was like six. I have had all the consoles be- since since 2006. So yeah. the Wii, I've had the Wii on. Um, and I what did you Wii on? Was it like a seat? Was duh. it like a public indecency thing? Oh, that was really funny. Yes. Hi TikTok. I I'm I'm fucking hilarious. Hey TikTok, if you don't know who I am, I'm gonna fuck your mom. <laughs> I'm gonna say that, but um, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is it's a me, Mario. Watch a Maya movie. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh wait, dude, am I gonna take die? It off. Take, it off. Wait, take it off. Take it off. Shit. Oh, oh fuck, no. dude. Hey guys, oh, no. if I'm gone in the next dude. in the next YDFP, you'll know why. I wore the fucking Mario mask. Dude, no, um, you can't do that. You can't. It's already oh, over. It, oh, the fate, fuck. the fate is sealed. I'm fucked. Oh, no. I'm okay, we'll have fucked. we'll have Dylan three. We'll have Dylan three take over next week. Yeah, Dylan three will take over next week. <laughs> oh, um, fuck, dude. But um, I'm a big like advocate fuck. for Mario, like Mario styles that are not like the 2D Mario games. Now, if you don't know, the 2D Mario games is a very specific art yeah. style and have had a specific art style since the new Super Mario Bro, new Super Mario Bros for the DS, which is the mm. first of like the newer Mario mm. games. And it Classic. harkens back to the original stuff. But I'm a big like advocate for like making N64 game, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, which happens to be one of the greatest video games of all time. Both of them. They have a very unique art style comparatively to the 2D games. It's still a Mario game. You can tell it's a Mario game. And then if you have Odyssey, Odyssey is also a really fantastic video game. And that has a very, very unique style. It is more realistic than all the others. But still, I hate those 2D Mario things. So this art style is a kind of combination of that um, Mario Odyssey a little bit of that cartoonish natured one because it's based off of Mario, so you've got to have that in the yeah. 2D games. But, like, in my opinion, the art style is really good. Some people do not like it. I personally think it's good. And Illumination, which, if you don't know, created probably one of the some of the greatest films of all time in some people's, uh, um, some people's uh, thoughts are the Minion movies and all that <laughs> stuff. I do it's not the like Godfather the and then it's Minions Rise of Gru. That's right. The Godfather, you have the Godfather literally, like, I think in one of the films you have the Godfather who's like, 
Or no, that's no, that's that's the that's the list of the greatest movies of all time. No, I know, but I'm pretty oh, okay. sure in one of I'm pretty sure in one of the minion and I think in the original Minions film, they actually worked under the Godfather instead of his mafiosos and all that stuff in his consigliere. Um actually, if you don't know how the mafia works, uh they have the the like the the mafia boss, right? And then next to him is the consigliere. Which is like his like at, at, at like his like advice person, like the person who gives him advice man. on things. Yeah, like his like um like oh you should do this, oh you shouldn't do this. Obviously, it's executive order under the mafia boss, but the consigliere has like kind of, is like on the side, but is not the can't tell the like the lower people what to do, but has like a complete like they're like basically like you'd be the consigliere to like me if I was the mafia boss because you would give me like ideas but it's my decision same goes with that um I'm pretty sure in the godfather uh or, or in the minions movie the godfather has the, his consigliere as all of the minions ever and you know how they go they speak in like like at least 16 different languages in one that's not just Italian uh no I that's wish what I Italian, Italian sounds like I think th- genuinely the the minions like just speak I... Italian for people that don't understand Italian like that's it, it just sounds kind of Italian. It just, like, let's, dude, Me, the minions sound like everybody's impression of an Italian person. <laughs> you fucking We're gonna fucking... offend some Italian, bro. <laughs> it's okay. We're my, gonna... my my name is literally Andrew Gabriel. Like I'm it's it's as American Italian as you can get. My grandfather I'm, was Italian. I'm Dylan Hoyo, so the the no, you uh, get the pass. You get the pass. You get the pass. No, literally, if you walked... Why? Okay. Dude, if, if a Good. minion walked into an olive garden, all of the people taking the orders would get it. You know what's funny? Before I had um, gotten onto the podcast, I was actually listening to, like, classic Italian music because I used to work at an Italian <laughs> restaurant. And he would oh, always right. play... He would always play, like, Frank Sinatra. He would play, like, this music, and it's like, Oh, mom, 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 mom. Like that kind of shit. And I was literally listening to it on my own, like, out of my own free will. Right. I Sinatra's love Italian. Baller, I think dude. Italian music is hilarious as shit because it's just people talking about, like, there was one song on that playlist that was about a mouse. It was about a mouse named, like, Manny the Mouse, and he stole cheese and he stole a, a, a bitch. He copped a bitch from a human. And a, and a <laughs> mouse sounded like an Alvin and the Chipmunk. He sounded oh. like he probably could have been the third, chi- the fourth chipmunk. So he coughed. That's just the plot of the B movie. Yes, dude. The that's bee- exactly right. That was actually Jerry Seinfeld talking. <laughs> dude, Jerry Seinfeld was spitting back in the old Italian music days, uh, and, that, and then the, the the B movie had just occurred as kind of like a byproduct of Italian music. Holy fuck! Yes. Dude, nothing is original. Fuck. Um, all I'm gonna oh say God. is. The minions talk in minionese. Um, what kind of language do the minions speak? Well, the minions speak minionese, sometimes called the banana language. Minionese is what's known as a constructed language or conlang. Conlangs are feared are often a feature of works of fantasy and science fiction. But genuinely, if someone told you that is Italian and you like didn't know how to not how to like say no to it. So wait, 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 get this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Their language is mostly made up of Minionese, a totally made up language, in addition to English, Spanish, French, Filipino, and also a little bit of Italian. No, it's a lot of bit of Italian. That's cap. Okay, you're right. I mean, it's, Spanish it's is basically awful. Italian, but different. Like, whenever they speak in, in, in Minions. By the way, so I went to go see the new Minions movie, Rise of Group, and I went baked out of my mind. Now, if you're my family, I'm sorry, but if you're all the dads, you know what I, you know the reason why I went. I had to let the kids watch it, and I did not <laughs> want to be bothered by it. So I thought it was funny. Whenever they would speak, and they would say something either in Spanish or Italian, because they're so closely like linked, like certain things they say are the same, uh, I would fucking bust out laughing. I'd be geeking at the film. And I was high, so to be fair, I was a little bit more like, like, eh, 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 you said something funny. <laughs> But still, hey. it was a fucking funny movie. Hey, Bamba hey. Bonzi. Bamba hey, Tony. <laughs> Tony, what are you fucking doing, you stupid fuck? <laughs> you stupid fuck. Like, have you ever seen the Dave Chappelle skit, the the racial, uh, the racial election, where they would, or the racial draft, where it was, um, 
uh, a representative from each race. So like the blacks, the whites, the Jews, the Hispanics, the Chinese, because it was the 2000s. So all it's, Asian yeah. people were Chinese back then for some reason. They all got to choose who they wanted to be a part of like their their race. The so UN a lot races, of them were yeah. black people that were moving different races like um like the black delegation chose like they i think they chose oj or something like that <laughs> nice the hispanics chose some some like black person same thing with like the white people but then the chinese came out of nowhere and chose the entirety of the wu-tang clan um <laughs> of course oh, uh, that's, that's too easy and 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 old dirty bastard changed his name from old dirty bastard to old dirty laundromat or some shit like that i don't know <laughs> that was that's, a joke that he made that's so, a, that is that is a dave Chappelle ass joke right there yeah holy so, shit with that being said it has run our time i feel like that was my bits um i don't think there's anything more that I need to say. So, oh, uh, it is it is my outro, isn't it? Yes, it is, you stupid <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Jimmy, fix it to where I don't sound like a... Yeah, Jimmy, you stupid kid. fuck. Jimmy, Jimmy, you stupid son of a bitch, Jimmy. You stupid motherfucker, Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm gonna fucking... Jimmy, you dumb bastard. Don't make me I'm... look stupid, all right? I'm gonna, f I'm gonna fucking take you, Jimmy, and I'm gonna pour some linguine aglioleo all over your fucking nutsack, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you? some, some minions rise of gru under your... Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. This has been episode seven, which, as we said before, means since it's episode seven, means you have to like and subscribe and follow the social media, specifically the Instagram at your dad's fave pod. That's at your dad's fave pod on Instagram, so that you can interact with the content and help us move it forward, and it can be good and not bad and things of that nature also follow at your dad's fave pod on tiktok if you want to see you know clips you can see clips we love clips who doesn't love clips right and myself at bcb gabriel on instagram him at dylan.hoyos on instagram subscribe to the channel because did i mention before on the youtube we are going to start uploading bits every week if you don't have time to listen to the full podcast you don't want to listen to the full podcast you can look at the bits on youtube a little seven minute clips just you know give you a taste of what we're all about also follow us on spotify like us on spotify so that if you don't want to watch a video you can watch it you can listen to it in the car who doesn't love the car love the car and the spotify has video and if you do want to watch the video and insist on using spotify you can that that'll satisfy that need too and as again previously mentioned in past episodes if you are not a dad first and foremost fuck you fuck you this is not for you and please do go tell your dad that we said hi and and, and drink a nice cup of joe but only only in bed only and bed. only when it's spiked with alcohol like you <laughs> like your women that's right yeah. call back baby Let's yeah go. yeah Let's go. Bye, it. Dylan, number one. Yeah, you'll Bye, be Gabriel. Bye. Bye, all the dads. Bye. Fuck you, everyone else. <laughs>